Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Gay, my dear guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Gamer Stars discussion. And this I'm going to be talking about the NPC streamers because that is... That's a little weird. But I'm not here to bash on or crap on any of them. Um, I think what they do is hard to do. Uh, mostly because it requires you to keep physically going for a certain set amount of time um, especially when you would prefer to let your body rest and cool down from some of the movements now there was one horrible example out there where a guy had his mother pop in on his stream and call his father to talk to him and he was still doing it you should give yourself room to break character for things things that are important there's no reason to just sit on there and just keep going. You need to give yourself space to break character. Just in case something happens. I, I would not want to be so focused on trying to do that to pursue money. To not be able to break character if I needed to. It's as simple as that. Like, I don't personally have any interest in doing that. Because I, I know that it takes time and work in ways that I'm not willing to do like especially if you caught you do a full cosplay trying to do that and for the women doing the makeup and stuff hell even some of the guys depending on the character you're trying to be so <clears throat> I don't have a problem with people doing it I do think that there should be a certain set of guidelines for it like if you're going to do it set up so that you can start your stream out of character and you can end your stream out of character set up so that you can take little breaks in between what you're doing and just engage with the audience directly in a different way i, I don't see a problem with it as an entertainment format i just think it is one of those things that could actually end up harming someone if they don't take care of how they do it i mean obviously you're gonna you're playing a role you're playing a character so you're, you're feeding into a quote-unquote fantasy fine fine with that but be smart about how you do it I mean this is definitely less damaging than certain other career paths for people and that that's fine but if it's something that you're going to do again set up so that you can have breaks in between certain things say hey guys look <clears throat> when we start this i'm starting the stream again out of character you can already be done up and ready to go but you start your stream out of character and say hey look we're going to do an hour run or a two hour run like this then at this particular time i'm coming out of character unless something happens that needs my specific attention because hell you might even be in the middle of a stream and someone's having a crisis and they come on your stream it's not like that is uncommon and unheard of and streamers have helped people in crisis before so being in character the entire time without a way to break out of being in character without that sort of clause for yourself that's going to cause problems in the long run I mean, I'm not one to tell people, yo, to, don't make money the way you're making it if you're not harming anyone. Key thing there, you're not harming anyone. But you also have to understand that there, like, there's going to be a few people that rise to the top because they're good at what they do. So they're going to rise to the top. Others are going to fall off. Some people are going to use this as a jumping off point for other facets of content creation is just another niche that's all it's a new niche developing for content creation again I'm not angry at it I'm not mad at it I mean again for me it's a little odd for me it's a little weird and I know I'm a weird person myself but I'm not knocking the hustle I just think that there has to be a certain form of etiquette set up for this and this is a fairly new thing so people aren't sure of where they should place their lines but you need to set up some boundaries 
as the person playing the role of the NPC, you need to set up boundaries. Otherwise, you are going to end up causing harm to yourself or another person. So that is something that has to be considered. That's something that has to be done. I'm, I'm not going to mock these people for what they do because they're making money. They're sustaining their lives. I, I'm not mocking them. The only one that I'm, I'm concerned about was the, the one guy that I saw the post about because he would not break character for and like his mother being there. Like, I'm sorry, like my mother's entered the stream. I am not going to stay in character while my mother's there. It's just, no. Especially if I don't know what's going on. I'm going to ask her, what do you need? What's happening? Is there something important? I'm not going to stay in character but just keep jumping around and, and doing stuff. No. Nope. At that moment, break character. If you want to go back into it, you just explain to the stream. Like, hey, look. Important things come up. And if you can't understand that, then you don't need to be on my stream. Simple as that. It shouldn't be something that you do desperately trying to gain attention. Yes, you do it because you want attention, but you should not be desperate in your in your desire for attention to do this. Because people that are desperate end up doing things that end up hurting themselves. So, again... This is just my wisdom from watching so many people go through a lot of the same things. It's just one of those things out there where a lot of people have done it. A lot of people have ended up hurting themselves or hurting somebody else incidentally. So I, that's what I caution against. I don't, I don't have a problem with people doing it. I, I really don't have a problem with people making money the way that they want to make money. As long as they do not cause harm to someone else. So basically you cannot be Adam 22 and his wife. <laughs> I know somebody was waiting for that. Um, you cannot, you can't be in a position where you are causing harm to someone else. It's, it's just not going to do well. For you or for said person. But hey, take the concept do what you want with it spice it up your own way again as long as you're not causing problems cool whatever have fun have at it go make your bread just put some boundaries in place set some boundaries and some rules that's the smart thing to do Again, I, I'm not going to hammer at people like, oh yeah, you shouldn't be doing this because you're weird as fuck. I mean, pfft, we all weird as fuck. We, we, in the, in the geek nerd community, we weird as fuck. We have people who do full-blown cosplays of machines and transform in person. I mean, that's weird. That is definitely weird. It's fascinating, too. And for other people, this concept is. So I'm, I'm not out here to shame my fellow nerds. I am just telling y'all, yo, set up some boundaries. Put something in place that you can protect yourself or you can protect others if needed. That, that, that is my major thing with this. That is my whole major thing with this. If you need to be able to break character for anything important, do so and don't start your streams in character start your streams out of character end them out of character make it a boundary start your stream five minutes in before you go into character explaining what's going to go on set up breaks for yourself so that you can come out of character set up clauses for yourself so you can come out of character if something important comes up and end your stream out of character Go out of character at least five minutes before the stream ends. That way you can actually sit down, you know, just commune with your community. 
I, that might sound weird, but that, that it is what I meant. <clears throat> you want to be able to communicate with your community. You want to be able to reach out and connect to them. You should not do it just in character. Because then, I, I know, I know logically we should understand this, but there are some people who do not understand that logically. And they need that buffer. I mean, you need it yourself as the person playing the role. But there are others out there who need that buffer from you, who need to understand, hey, this is just a normal person. Because there are some people out there, depending on their issues, that won't know that. And that is one of the reasons is it is highly important to be able to break character when necessary. That's why it's important to have those types of rules in place. We live in a world, and sorry if this is turning into a PSA, but we live in a world where there are people who will stalk you cyberly and will get wrapped up in the fantasy with you. And then things can happen to people. It's been reported on multiple times. So again, I caution that there are rules that need to be set in place for people's protection. They, they obviously aren't going to prevent everything from happening, but they should curb most of the bad things. Now again, I, I mean, I can already come up with a simple set of rules. Again, start the stream out of character five to ten minutes before you actually go into character to play the role set time limits for how long you're going to be in character take breaks even on stream take breaks being in character take breaks like five to ten minute breaks and get out of character bring yourself down get a snack or a drink or something while you're on stream so people see you. this is a normal person then get back into character if you want to do a longer stream again there are rules that need to be set up and then before you end your stream break your character communicate with your your viewership the community that you're building then end your stream those are the most basic of things and, and obviously break character if something important comes up either in your real life or in your comments on the stream because to do this you have to constantly monitor those comments and, and whatever is going on over there. So I think that those at least as far as the basics go those are probably the best things to do. Now me personally if I were to say I wouldn't say do any more than like four hour a four hour stream at a time. But again make sure you give yourself breaks. Well, I, I don't think what people understand is like a lot of concentration like that heavy concentration can take a lot out of you. It It is mentally taxing to have to see stuff like that and constantly respond to it, especially when a lot of the responses are based on like the, the stickers and stamps and things that people get sent through different platforms. So I don't trash on what people are doing. I say, hey, improve the concept as quickly as you possibly can to make it as safe as possibly, uh, safe as possible, uh, safe as possible for yourself. I'm not going to be out here like a lot of the bigger content creators and immediately just jump and stomp on the concept because I know that that's the easy way to get viewership from it. I could literally have just done a discussion where I crapped on this. I chose not to. And I know that there are people that I follow, people that I communicate with regularly, that I respect, that would disagree with my stance at the moment. That doesn't dissuade me from making the decision I made to discuss it the way I decided to discuss it. It's a niche that's here to stay whether people like it or not. The best thing that we can do is ensure that the people that participate in this niche are doing it as safely as possible. 
and doing it as responsibly as possible. So that's my concern. That's where my thoughts went. Yeah, I, 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 I will admit the first time I saw that pop up, it looked a little weird to me. Cause I'm like, what? Why would you want to do that? Then again, who am I to tell anybody or ask anybody why they would want to do something? I'm not. They're not hurting anyone. And thus far, I haven't heard of anyone being harmed by this new developed scene just yet. So I would be very careful. I mean, hey. It's a way for people to make money. And people are willing to pay for it. Happy to pay for it. But I'm not here to try to steal anybody's thunder. I mean, hey, yeah, I would like some of that money, but I'm not here to steal anybody's thunder. I'm not here to crap on anyone. Not unless I think they absolutely deserve it. And I really don't think that the NPCs or the people playing the roles of NPCs really deserve to be crapped on. Especially when they haven't actually done anything wrong. Again, the only one that I know of that I was concerned about was the, the, the one black kid who wouldn't break character for his mother and father. And I didn't even listen to what was said. I just saw the video pop up. I Because I was scrolling Twitter on my computer and it popped up. So I didn't have my headphones on to, to listen. But that, that would be the only thing I would be concerned about. And that's partially why I've said that there need to be rules in place where you can break your character. Um, and I know one of the uh, one of the ones, the girl that does, I think she's wearing the platinum wig or her, she may have colored her hair like that. Um, I know she broke character and started to cry because reports popped up for it. I'm not here to shit on anybody. Uh, I don't want to. Again, I don't think they deserve it. So I'm not going to. The only thing I can say is to give the community that is building a shot to actually grow and potentially thrive. We do know that there are some people that are going to fall off naturally. Again, some people will use this as a bridge to other things. There are going to be tons of news reports about this there's going to be talk show hosts inviting these people on to do interviews and stuff like that it's going to happen just the fact of the matter that we just have to accept that that's going to happen and hopefully find that the majority of this particular community don't do anything egregious because at that point, there's nothing we can do to help. <laughs> so, it's basically sink or swim at this point. Um, but I, I think I've espoused my thoughts as clearly and genuinely as I possibly can. Again, I, like even just watching just for a few minutes, I see the difficulty of it. Because you have to focus on everything that's popping up. You have to respond to people the same particular way over and over and over again. And on top of that, you don't have really too much room for error. You have to have like this OCD for this to do it and have it be something that people really, really enjoy. I do not have the mental stamina to do it. If, if anybody's listened to me on the Wing of the Podcast or any of the reaction streams we've done, you should know Andre does not have the mental fortitude to do this particular thing because I would run out of patience very quickly. And that's weird because I'm considered a highly patient person by a lot of people. <laughs> I, I think when it comes down to my... My nerd community, I have a little bit less patience, but for this thing, let's just see where it goes. Let's just see how people make this community grow, and hopefully this community will police itself and remove any bad actors and not defend them 
like a lot of communities do in the juice match community so but i'm going to go ahead and into here thank you guys very much for listening in keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me and until the next time enjoy your games and peace out everybody Thank you once again. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. And if you would like to support my efforts in creating content, please look up my book that is currently on Amazon for purchase. That is The Game Idea Guy Presents Gaming Word Search Volume 1. I am currently working on Volume 2 and it would be highly appreciated. That way you could get something for you supporting me. Again, thank you very much. Peace out.